Hi, it's John Hawthorne again from Delaware Valley Outdoors at the Greater Philadelphia Sports Show down here at Oaks. Now, if you've been following us along with our webcast, I just had the privilege of interviewing Miles Keller. And Miles is here courtesy of United Country Outfitters. And we are very, very pleased to have the owner of United Country Outfitters here, Philip Riga. Philip, it's great to have you with us. Thank you, John. Thanks for having me. Good to meet you. So tell me, obviously, you know, the connection with, with Miles is, is a bit unique. How did you and Miles become associated, become friends? Uh, it's kind of unique. First off, I want to say I'm here with uh, my son Christopher as well. Hey, Chris. How you doing, buddy? And um, I came to meet Miles about 15 years ago. I've been an avid bow hunter for about 35 years now. Mm -hmm. And I killed this monster buck out in Illinois. And... Um, uh, Ran into Miles, coincidentally. Did you know who he was when you ran into him? Oh, yeah. I've okay. followed Miles his whole career. Um, I'll be 54 years old the end of March, and uh, Miles is about, oh, I don't want to give up his age, <laughs> but he's a couple of years older than me, and okay. uh, I followed his career quite a while, and I was very proud of that uh, monster buck I killed with my bow, and... Um, We've been friends ever since, so that's how it really began. That's neat. Now, has he actually hunted with your outfitting? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He hunts with us in Illinois and Iowa and Wisconsin. We're in a border uh, town of Galena, Illinois, is our main lodge, and uh, we cover all three states right there. So, yeah, he, he does hunt with us. Fantastic. Now, Midwestern deer, certainly you know, not a, a secret to anyone that, that you have some tremendous deer. We're kind of hiding behind this rack here. What can you tell us about this particular deer? Well, this particular deer uh, grosses out at about 160 inches. It was killed by a client of ours last year in Illinois. Uh, it's kind of a unique story. He's only been bow hunting for two years, the client that came out. <laughs> And um, can we call that beginner luck? Is that okay to call? Yeah, that he, you know he's a Rockland County, New York resident, and um, he came out to hunt with us. And uh, he was getting discouraged, and he came out with a group of five guys, and um, they were somewhat, uh, you know, getting antsy towards the end of the week. And I try to tell everybody that, you know, you're not in Rockland County, New York. You're in uh, Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin. Right. Every minute you spend in the stand. You never know, the next world record could walk out in front of you. So it was his last day, his last hour of the hunt, and um, there, well, and here he comes. And, uh, you know, he made a good shot on it, and he was successful. And this is, this is an archery kill? This, this is, is an archery this kill. Is a We're primarily a bow hunting organization. We just started uh, doing some muzzle, hunt, muzzle loading hunts in, in Iowa only in the late okay. season. But this particular deer here is only three and a half years old. It's pretty... Uh, it's pretty um, you know, it's typical it's of, of uh, what a three and a half year old buck looks like in our in our area. Now that's what you t that's what when we talked earlier today, and you said this is a typical three and a half year old deer. Yeah, and I'm get, shocked by that. When they get to three and a half years old in Iowa, Illinois, or Wisconsin, in our region, there they typically run somewhere between 140 and 160 inches. That is unbelievable. I know our producer was joking. You know, you must be pumping them full of something to get them to be, you know, this size. Well, at, we don't that have age. to. That's one of the beauties. <laughs> it saves a lot of time and resources for us because there's so much food available for them in, our, in that area. And the soil is just, it's a Mississippi River Valley. Mm -hmm. It's just one of the most fertile soils in the world. And obviously you got must have some tremendous genetics. Tremendous, tremendous genetics. So, and we're, we're talking, you know, fair chase. We're not talking high fence deer. These are not pen deer. We're talking no, wild fair deer chase, here. Yeah. That, that's incredible. You're kind of uniquely placed there between like the three states. You know, Illinois is certainly, you know, yeah, classic. We, we, uh, I chose that particular area specifically because it covered the three states that are renowned for giant whitetails. Mm -hmm. And uh, I call it, there used to be an area in Illinois, well, they still call it the Golden sure. Triangle, which sure. was called Adams, Pike, and Brown. And uh, they call that Golden Triangle, but I, I'm up in the northwest corner of Illinois where it butts Iowa near the Mississippi River in Wisconsin, which mm -hmm. is bordered only by our driveway. And I like to call that the true Golden Triangle. <laughs> and uh, because no three states have more record book bucks amassed than those three states anyway. Is that right? That's true. That's, uh, that is unbelievably I impressive. Now, uh, I know we have another photo uh, to share uh, with the viewers at home. Can you tell us a little bit about that deer? Yeah, that deer there is, uh, was uh, taken just five weeks ago by um, Wolf Creek Productions uh, TV personality and archery industry uh, known uh, Steve Gruba. Okay. Who has a uh, show on the um, outdoor channel at Deer City USA. Mm -hmm. And Steve came out. He's a friend of mine. He came out and hunted with us in uh, late season in Iowa. And... Um, you know, just the uh, first day of his hunt, 
<laughs> he had two monster bucks come out, and the other one he wasn't comfortable with the shot, and he wound up taking that one. Okay, because that's one I think the, the video is playing uh, at your booth. Is that am that's, I thinking of the right one? That's the one with the video playing in our booth. Yeah, that's, that's a great, great deal. Yeah, Very and the, the nice, the nice thing about that uh, video, which will be on TV in July on Deer City USA is that the bigger buck is still alive out there. He didn't shoot the bigger one. <laughs> and the bigger one was really impressive. We were talking about the score of that one. Yeah, he's close. Push the 170, Boone and Crockett, yeah. Uh, unbelievable, unbelievable. Well, you had mentioned that you primarily do some bow hunting. You do some limited muzzleloader hunting, you said, in Iowa. That's true. That's correct. Now, Iowa and Illinois, for the people who don't realize, don't have any rifle hunting at all. No the, rifle the, hunting. It's a uh, shotgun and all muzzleloader only. Okay, and we tend to think that that makes it a lot easier for the deer to get larger because people aren't plinking them from yeah, 300 the, yards away. That and the seasons are very short. The gun seasons are not continuous. They're four days for the first season and six days for the second season in Iowa. And then they have a late season muzzleloader, which is the only one we do. Okay, the late season. Yeah. Really, the design of that, John, is... We don't like to pressure our deer. Mm -hmm. If you can have the greatest piece of earth on in North America with the best deer, and if you pressure them, no matter how good it is, they're out of there. So we don't like to pressure our deer. We have limited gun hunts and limited bow hunts, and uh, we're successful in doing that. That's awesome. How many uh, bow hunting clients will you take like at a time? We only take four a week. Okay. For four weeks, and that's it. Wow. Okay. That's... That's yeah. it. And uh, do those kind of overlap with the rut, or are the deer kind of protected during the rut? When do those typically no, happen? No, our bow hunting is all primetime rut the last two weeks of October and the first three weeks of November. Okay. All right. Outstanding. Yeah. You have a website uh, that we people do. want to We do. Our website is unitedcountryoutfitters.com, okay. www.unitedcountryoutfitters.com. And uh, we also have a toll-free number, which is 800 Eight, uh, excuse me, 877-437-0711. Okay, terrific. And I understand that uh, for the folks that are here at the show, you're offering a couple of specials. We do. We have some show specials right through Sunday evening of the show, and we'd love you uh, to come out over and see us. Booth 609 and 610, and come see uh, one of the few men inducted into the Bow Hunters Hall of Fame, Hall of Miles Fame. Keller. That's right. That's another treat. He's with you at your booth, Booth yes. 610. Yes, terrific. he is. Philip, I really appreciate your time. Thank you, John. It's been great to get to know you a little Thank bit you. more. For Delaware Valley Outdoors, I'm John Hawthorne.